This is an astrotometry vlog, January 5th, 2009. And I just wanted to give a quick update. I've been working almost nonstop on an issue that was sent to me about the Yellowstone caldera quakes that coincided with my prediction of a active uh, seismic period. Um, in addition to the quakes, the six plus quakes in Pakistan and Afghanistan, and I can't remember the other place where there was a six plus quake, um, Kashmir. Um, there were quakes uh, above seven in magnitude in Indonesia. And it also triggered a seismic flurry in the Yellowstone caldera, which is a, um, a volcanically active area. And it's a, it's a touchy volcanically active area because if the Yellowstone caldera blows, it's a really serious issue. And I featured a video on uh, astrotometry right now, and I will go ahead and link it in the comments if you want to take a look at that video. also wanted to go over a couple of things. Um, astro this, the method that I'm using um, with astrotometry is completely new. It doesn't really relate to the standard methods of um, earthquake prediction and well not that there not that there is a standard but it doesn't it doesn't relate to our normal three-dimensional conception of how these events occur um, other than incidentally the concept in astrotometry is that the matter that the earth is composed of persists through time by way of energy that exists at a distance and that that energy is folded through the sun in order to form and reform, materialize and rematerialize our world on the subatomic level in the moment. And so this is a, a higher dimensional understanding of the nature of our reality. And in astrotometry, anytime there is, we, astrotometry points out that anytime there is a significant movement of mass on the earth, that that movement is, um, is reflected through time and space across the axis of the primary time manifold that is understood to be the three-dimensional phenomenon that we observe as the sun. And in the chronocentric model, the, the time that we perceive uh, the earth taking to rotate on its axis and the earth take, taking to rotate uh, once or um, process once around the sun is understood to be the center. In other words, there's not really a center of the universe because everything is actually moving. The sun is moving with respect to everything else. And so um, in the, the three-dimensional version of astrotometry, the, uh, the situation is understood to be chronocentric, centered around time. And so I'm looking at folds in time space that manifest as frequency differentials on the surface of the sun. In other words, normally you would think, well, a uh, normal solar physicist would say um, there's a, a coronal hole and the energy from that coronal hole takes a certain amount of time to travel from the sun to the earth. And then it affects the earth in the form of a geomagnetic storm. Now in astrotometry, that geomagnetic storm and the coronal hole are under understood to be inconsistencies in the orbit of the matter on the Earth that's reflected in the frequency relationships of the energy that are coming to the Sun from the disturbance in the carrier wave that creates the matter that is the Earth. And so this is a completely different system. It's a completely different model. I realize that that's, I just said, um, <laughs> something that's going to take our society hundreds of years to assimilate. But that's the system, that's the way that I'm looking at this in order to come up with these predictions.